RH incompatibility occurs when A. The mother is RH positive and the baby is RH negative. B. The mother is RH negative and the baby is RH positive. C. The mother and the baby both have RH negative blood. D. The mother and the baby both have RH positive blood. And the correct answer is B. The mother is RH negative and the baby is RH positive. RH incompatibility is also known as RH disease. It occurs when a woman who is RH negative becomes pregnant with a fetus who is RH positive. Which of the following can cause sensitization in an RH negative mother? A. Exposure to RH negative blood B. Exposure to RH positive blood C. Consuming certain foods during pregnancy D. Being exposed to environmental toxins And the correct answer is B. Exposure to RH positive blood Sensitization in RH disease refers to the process by which a mother's immune system produces antibodies against the RH factor protein on the surface of her fetuses RBCs. This can occur when a mother who is RH negative is exposed to RH positive blood cells, either through a blood transfusion or during pregnancy if she carries a RH positive fetus. During pregnancy, small amounts of the baby's blood can enter the mother's bloodstream. If the baby is RH positive, the mother's immune system may recognize the RH factor protein on the baby's RBCs as foreign and produces antibodies against it. This process is called sensitization. Sensitization can occur during a woman's first pregnancy with an RH positive baby, but it is more common in subsequent pregnancies. This is because during the first pregnancy, the baby's RH positive cells may not have had a chance to enter the mother's bloodstream in large enough numbers to trigger an immune response. However, during subsequent pregnancies with RH positive babies, the mother's immune system may produce a stronger response, leading to sensitization. It is important to note that sensitization can occur from exposure to RH positive blood through other means such as blood transfusion or a miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy involving an RH positive fetus. Which of the following is a risk factor for developing RH disease? A. Being RH positive B. Being RH negative C. Previous pregnancy with an RH positive baby D. Blood transfusion with RH positive blood. And the correct answer is C. Previous pregnancy with an RH positive baby. Having a RH positive baby in a previous delivery increases the risk of having RH positive baby in subsequent pregnancies. This is because the mother's immune system may have been sensitized to the RH factor protein during the first pregnancy and may produce antibodies against it that can cross the placenta and attack the RBCs of a subsequent RH positive fetus. What is the other name for RH disease? A. Aplastic anemia B. Kleinfelter syndrome C. Polycystic kidney disease D. Hemolytic disease of the newborn and the correct answer is D. Hemolytic disease of the newborn. RH disease is also known with other names. They are Hemolytic disease of the newborn, RH hemolytic disease, RH incompatibility disease, rhesus disease, and isoimmunization. What is the RH factor? A. A protein found on the surface of red blood cells. B. A type of white blood cell. C. A hormone produced by the liver. D. A type of antibody. And the correct answer is A. A protein found on the surface of red blood cells. 
The Rh factor is a protein that is present on the surface of the RBCs in some individuals but not in others. People who have the Rh factor are considered Rh positive, while those who do not have Rh factor are considered Rh negative. The Rh factor is an inherited trait and it is determined by the presence or absence of the Rh gene, which is located on chromosome 1. The Rh factor plays an important role in blood transfusions and pregnancy. As the incompatibility of Rh factor between the mother and the fetus can lead to Rh disease. How does Rh disease occur? A. The mother's antibodies attack the baby's RBCs. B. The baby's antibodies attack the mother's RBCs. C. The mother's RBCs attack the baby's antibodies. D. The baby's RBCs attack the mother's antibodies. And the correct answer is A. The mother's antibodies attack the baby's RBCs. Rh disease occurs when a mother who is Rh negative carries a fetus who is Rh positive. How can Rh disease be prevented? A. By avoiding pregnancy if the mother is Rh negative. B. By administering Rh immunoglobulin to the mother during pregnancy and after delivery. C. By performing a blood transfusion on the baby before delivery. D. By inducing labor early to prevent complications. And the correct answer is B. By administering Rh immunoglobulin to the mother during pregnancy and after delivery. Rh immunoglobulin is a medication used to prevent and treat Rh disease in newborns. It works by binding to Rh positive cells in the mother's bloodstream, preventing her body from producing antibodies against them. This prevents mother's immune system from attacking Rh positive cells in subsequent pregnancies. Rh immunoglobulin is typically given to the mother during pregnancy and after delivery to prevent the development of Rh antibodies in her bloodstream, which could otherwise cause hemolytic disease of the newborn. If a baby is born with Rh disease, what is the treatment? A. Blood transfusions B. Phototherapy C. Intravenous immunoglobulin D. All of the above And the correct answer is D. All of the above Blood transfusions, phototherapy and intravenous immunoglobulins are all used in the treatment of Rh disease. Which of the following is a potential complication of Rh disease in newborns? A. Seizures B. Spleen enlargement C. Brain damage D. All of the above And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.